Finding a cheap gaming laptop that can provide a good performance while staying on budget can be a daunting task. However, daunting doesn't mean impossible. We've compiled a list of the best cheap gaming laptops because we know gaming is an expensive hobby. The Nitro 5 makes no apologies for being a budget gaming system. If you want cutting-edge tech like NVIDIA's GeForce RTX graphics or a screen with a 144Hz refresh rate instead of the more familiar 60Hz, Acer will happily refer you to its Predator laptops. But for the price, my Nitro 5's 4GB GeForce GTX 1650 and quad-core Intel Core i5-9300H processor are nothing to sneer at. Nor are its 8GB of memory and 512GB in solid-state drive. Carefully removing 12 screws and prying off the bottom half of the case reveals a second M.2 slot so you can install another stick-style SSD, as well as a 2.5-inch bay for installing a SATA hard drive or SSD. Design-wise, the Nitro 5 belongs to the big black plastic slab school of architecture, measuring 1.1 by 15.9 by 11 inches and weighing 6.6 pounds. That's close to the more costly Lenovo Legion Y740, Walmart's overpowered gaming laptop 17 Plus is noticeably trimmer at 1 by 15.5 by 10.25 inches and 5.5 pounds. A red screen hinge breaks up the black. There's some flex if you grasp the screen corners, though none if you press the keyboard deck. As for ports, you'll find two USB 3.1 Type-A ports and one USB 3.1 Type-C port on the Acer's left side, along with HDMI and Ethernet ports and a security lock slot. The right edge holds a USB 2.0 port, an audio jack, and the socket for the bulky AC adapter. Would-be Windows Hello users will be stuck typing passwords, as the Acer has neither a fingerprint reader nor a face recognition camera. The 720p webcam is above average for a bargain laptop's cam, capturing relatively bright and sharp images with just a touch of grain. With an angular, black and red design, the Asus Tough Gaming FX 504G doesn't stray far from the gaming laptop ordinary. The color scheme is practically a uniform for machines like this, and the overall look telegraphs typical gaming laptop in its size and shape. The all-plastic chassis is what's expected of a gaming laptop in this price range, as is the plastic touchpad. Unlike on some gaming machines these days from Dell, Gigabyte, and others, the display is nowhere close to bezel-less. It's bordered by wide, 1-inch thick sections of the same plastic that envelops the rest of the machine. The main bit of unique flair, the two forward corners of the chassis and lid are cut off at a diagonal, rather than the right angles or rounded corners you see on most laptops. Measuring 0.98 by 15.12 by 10.31 inches, the Tough Gaming FX504G is about the same thickness as the Dell Inspiron 15 Gaming 7000, but with a slightly smaller footprint. It's lighter too, at 5.07 pounds versus the 5.84 pound Dell. That's especially meaningful since the Dell Inspiron 15 Gaming 7000 is already thin and light, at least as budget gaming laptops come. To bear the same starting price as the Inspiron, and also be lighter, is a win for the Asus machine. Keep in mind, though, other gaming laptops beat them both on thickness and weight, albeit at significantly higher starting costs. Open the Tough Gaming FX504G's lid, and you'll see a speaker grill positioned forward of the key layout. Boasting support for the DTS Virtual X codec, the sound system here is touted to yield a home theater-style sound experience with simulated surround aspects. But alas, the speakers on the Asus Tough Gaming FX504G don't quite sound as loud or clear as those on, for example, the MSI G65 Stealth Thin. That said, this is only a minor ding for most users. Chances are, you'll be using headphones or a gaming headset, anyway, and the sound experience through the audio jack was just fine. The silver top half of the Alpha 15 is a refreshing departure from the usual solid black of MSI's gaming notebooks. Most of the build is plastic, including the lid, which is a slight turnoff considering that the budget GL659SC uses aluminum for the palm rest. The back of the Alpha 15's lid is made of aluminum, although I'm not a fan of the garish green logo there. It's not backlit by the display and doesn't look like it belongs. The thin bezel screen helps keep the MSI down to a trim 14.1 inches wide by 9.8 inches deep. The 1.1 inch thick chassis is a little chunky, but not objectionable on a value-priced gaming laptop like this. 
The CPU and GPU in this model can draw around 100 watts of power while gaming, so dissipating the resulting heat is easier with a beefier chassis. The Alpha 15 weighed 4.6 pounds on my scale, although MSI's official specifications put it at 5.1 pounds. The 144Hz Full HD screen is an ace in the hole at a price point where a 60Hz refresh rate is more common. The addition of AMD Free Sync technology to reduce glitches or screen tearing is equally big league given that NVIDIA-based notebooks with G-Sync generally run well into four figures. Praise for the non-touch 15.6-inch screen doesn't stop there, its picture is bright, with well-saturated colors and no glare thanks to a matte coating. Its in-plane switching technology also provides wide viewing angles. You won't find a better display in a gaming laptop at this price. The upgrade to AMD's Ryzen 4000 series processors is the single biggest component difference between the Alpha 15 and the Bravo 15, and it's a big difference maker, too. The 6-core, 12-thread Ryzen 5 4600H in the base model is plenty fast to take on Intel's same core and thread count Core i7-10750H, but my test unit's 8-core, 16-thread Ryzen 7 4800H hits far above it in overall performance. The Bravo 15 also sees a full chassis revamp, with just the black and red color scheme from the Alpha 15 carrying forward. For one, I'm glad to see that the garish green lid logo has been replaced by a much subtler silver version. The build is also improved thanks to the brushed aluminum palm rest, which was plastic on the Alpha 15. The chassis remains about the same size, at 14.1 by 10 inches, but it's noticeably thinner, at just 0.85 inch. Its weight is also down about a half pound, to 4.1 pounds. That makes the Bravo 15 one of the more portable 15.6 inch gaming notebooks on the market. That said, it's not the strongest chassis build on the market. The lid is adequately stiff, but the chassis lower half flexes without too much effort. I'm not apt to complain, however, since this is not unusual for a gaming notebook in this price range. The display is otherwise nicely appointed with IPS technology for wide viewing angles, a glare killing matte surface, and AMD Free Sync Adaptive Sync technology for smoother gameplay. The Legion Y545 sits alongside Lenovo's own 15-inch Legion Y540 in its lineup, an early 2019 debut that was a technology refresh of 2018's Legion Y530. The Legion Y545 is mainly a design change, as it shares its general specifications, pricing, and even port layout with the Y540. Unlike its Acer and Asus competition, Lenovo allows factory customization of the Legion Y545, so you're not limited to pre-configured models. Our review unit is sensibly equipped with 16GB of RAM, a 128GB solid-state drive for the Windows 10 operating system, and a 1TB hard drive for storage. The fact that this machine can take a hard drive is a big plus, as it's a more economical way to add mass storage than relying on M.2 format SSDs, or you can swap in a 2.5-inch SATA SSD. For graphics, Lenovo offers a 6GB GeForce RTX 2060 card as the top option, a $100 upgrade over the GTX 1660 Ti on configurable models. Adding it arguably takes the Legion Y545 out of entry-level pricing territory, at which point the flagship Legion Y740 becomes a more attractive choice. Its fancier features include an RGB backlit keyboard, NVIDIA G-Sync technology, dedicated gaming macro keys, and a sleeker chassis. The Legion Y545 is an all-black slab, but not all plastic. The lid backing is smooth aluminum that wraps around the sides of the display. Stealthy exhaust vents and chiseled chassis edges exude an aggressive look without overdoing it. The backlit Y Gaming logo is less prominent than Acer's Predator branding, though it's still impossible to miss.